What is up guys, Retro here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys another video, and today I'm going to be giving you guys another story video. I know I've made a lot of story videos these days, but they're really fun to make, and I think you guys really like them, so yeah. And also, I'm getting a pop filter really soon, and also another thing I'm excited for is my birthday. It's on December 17th. I'll probably make a birthday video, I'm not sure, maybe I'll skip uploading that day, I don't know. I don't think it's an upload day. Some of you guys have been telling me to be more enthusiastic in my videos and to be honest i'm trying to be as enthusiastic as possible it just doesn't sound like it like i'm actually trying to be really enthusiastic it just sounds like i'm sad anyways i made this story video a really long time ago i made this in like february or something of this year and it was a shitty video and it was like a one minute video and i hope this video is way better than that one this is probably like one of the best like funny and scary things that's happened in my life and that kind of makes no sense but once you hear the story you will understand and this was the story of me being like locked in a cruise ship bathroom well i don't really know if it's a cruise ship i don't really remember it was it was some kind of like ship so it started off as this normal school day it was a field trip day and i love field trips because they're really fun so if you guys don't know i live in vegas like the vegas area so there's this dam called the hoover dam in the vegas area so we're taking a cruise ship from a lake to Hoover Dam. I think it was like Lake Mead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Lake Mead. We only like been on it for like two hours. It wasn't like a crazy field trip, but it was pretty fun. So we're going on this like small cruise ship and the cruise ship had like an inside area and the outside area. We we're going to the inside area and there, there was like this place with a bunch of food and we're gonna like get a bunch of food and eat it inside the cruise ship and i was kind of nervous at first because i never rode on a boat or anything or a ship or anything so i was pretty nervous but when the ship started i wasn't that nervous because it was really slow and it wasn't scary at all so we got a bunch of food like after in the class we got in lines and the food was delicious it was really good there was like a bunch of stuff like mashed potatoes sausages and beef and and a lot of sweets and stuff like that i don't exactly remember that much because this was in fourth grade so yeah and i wanted to go to the bathroom so first of all i had to go to the bathroom and second of all i just kind of wanted to see what a cruise ship bathroom was like and so i walked to the bathroom so i opened the bathroom door and right when i was gonna close it i was already in the bathroom i was about to close the door this other kid that i knew in my class he was kind of annoying i'm not gonna say his name because he's still goes to my school and stuff and i don't want kids like telling him and stuff so yeah i'm not gonna say his name so let's just call him jack for now his real name isn't jack it's something else but let's just call him jack jack fucking opened the door right when i was gonna close it and that's when like i didn't notice it but something went wrong with the door it must have got stuck like the locking thing must have got damaged or something like that so he opened the door and when i was trying to close it and go to the bathroom like wow I was gonna like go into the bathroom he opened it so i was like what are you doing and he said i need to go to the bathroom so i told him i'm in the bathroom i was just gonna close the door and he was like oh and he went away so i closed the door i was pretty frustrated because it was pretty rude and pretty sure he knew that i was in the bathroom already but he didn't care so i closed the door and i locked it and i went to the bathroom and the flushing was really fucking loud well it didn't exactly scare me but it was loud i remember and i was about to open the door like the cruise ship bathroom door and it didn't open of course i unlocked it first but it didn't open still so i thought i was a retard and i made a mistake it was like this like pulling thing or like this switching thing i don't know how to explain it on the doorknob so i kept doing it back and forth back and forth like side to side and i kept pulling on it but it wouldn't open like i put it unlocked and of course it didn't open but i unlocked it but it still wouldn't open so it was stuck and i pulled i pulled the doorknob as hard as i could but i still couldn't do it so i knocked on the door as loud as i could but nobody could hear me i was screaming and yelling i screamed i'm stuck help help and somebody finally heard me in about three minutes so they used the key to open the door and i'm not sure if i was crying but i was like really scared because like they couldn't hear me for a while 
I thought I was going to be stuck there forever because I was a little kid I didn't really know that much so I was really scared and when I got out like I went back to my seat like in the cruise ship and I was like I was scared like I was shocked I was like what the fuck just happened and you know after that I didn't want to go into a bathroom like a, like a public bathroom or anything for a, a couple months because I was afraid it was gonna get stuck so it kind of it really shocked me for a while and it was really scary because that's the first time i've ever been like stuck in the bathroom or something and if i really got stuck well they would probably find out and help me but if they didn't i don't know what would happen like the boat would like go somewhere else and i would still be stuck in there and there's no food and the bathroom is really small so there's not much air and no water well except the sink there's water there but anyways you guys know what i mean and yeah that's gonna be about it for this video guys if you enjoyed please leave a like comment subscribe and peace i graduated magna cum laude what does that mean I'm still stuck paying sally may the next 16 years of my life and is it me or does that not seem right see i just want to go back to playing tag and riding my bike damn light now could you tell me when you get so hard i remember my biggest worry were my pokemon cards i put a lemonade stand right at the edge of my yard that seems so far but now i hear there may be life on mars yeah and it seems like just yesterday she was at my house saying can mark come out to play now we're both on with school i guess the real world on its way it's crazy how we go through life and take for granted each day but hey things change and people change and that's